मल्टी क्वेरी रिट्रीवर कम्बाइंस मल्टीपल रिट्रीवर्स इन टू अ सिंगल एंटिटी एंड इट इज यूज फॉर प्रॉम ट्यूनिंग इट ऑटोमेट्स द प्रोसेस ऑफ प्रॉम ट्यूनिंग बाय यूजिंग एन एल एल एम मॉडल टू जनरेट मल्टीपल क्वेरीज फ्रॉम डिफरेंट परस्पेक्टिव फॉर अ गिवन यूजर इनपुट क्वेरी सो इफ आई पास वन क्वेश्चन और इफ आई आस्क वन क्वेश्चन टू द एल मॉडल this multi query retriever will give me five or more than five different types of queries simpler query that i can ask to get relevant answers in multi query retriever we get different set of questions for a given question provided by the user we will write one question and see different such question as an output this time we will also use llm model to use this multi query retriever let's import os from get pass import get pass and then from lang chain import hugging face hub now i'm going to make or i'm going to save this hugging face api i will write here hugging face hub underscore api underscore token and then i will use get pass to hide my api keys and then i'll go to this hugging face hugging page here uh, website get my api keys and then paste it here now i am going to set the environment variable i will write here os dot envir and inside this i will just copy and paste this and then i will assign it to itself so this will set the environment variable now i am going to import from lang chain underscore community dot document loaders import text loader to load our text file and then from lang chain dot vector stores import chroma i'll call llm model llm is equal to hugging face hub inside this i will pass repo id and then i will copy mistral model from here i will write here mistral or mistral and then i will copy it from here i'll come here and paste it and then i can just print this ll model so we have this model from mistral ai now i will import multi query retriever from lang chain dot retrievers import or uh, i have to write here dot multi query import multi query retriever then from lang chain dot underscore community dot document loaders import web page loader then from lang chain underscore community dot vector stores import chroma i am importing this web page loader because i am going to Uh, download a file from web and i'll show you how we are going to do that let us execute our code or uh, let me also import one more from lang chain underscore text splitter import recursive text splitter yeah and then let us execute our code now i will write here loader 
is equal to web page loader and inside this i'm going to pass the url of the website from where i'm going to load the data i will paste the link here and then to get the data i will write here data is equal to loader dot load and i can show you what is there on this website so i just paste the link here and here we have this um, a blog and it is a lot of information here we are loading this blog here using this web page loader and then i will just print data here so we have this content here from that blog and so we have this date and estimated reading time and all author really on bank and here also you will see so we have this date estimated time author linear bank so we have loaded this document from text now the next step is to split the data into smaller chunks and for that this time i'm going to use recursive character text splitter i'll make an object text underscore splitters and then i will call recursive character text splitter the first parameter is going to be chunk size and i'll put it as 500 the second parameter is going to be chunk overlap and this is going to be zero chunk size is that the number of words sentence or anything and chunk overlap is we want to uh, overlap one chunk with the other so we are saying that no we don't want that that is why we are writing here zero and if i print this text splitter it's nothing but memory save to actually use this text splitter we will have to call a function on this one and we will save the result in a new variable let's say splits and then i will call this text splitter and then from this i will call the function split documents and then data data because we have this in our data variable and then i can just print splits here so we have done the uh, creation of chunk size and if you see here all these uh, paragraphs that are ending with this um, these paragraphs so they are nothing but the chunks and now we will create embeddings using hugging face embeddings and then we will do the multi query retrieval i will write here from line chain underscore community dot embeddings import hugging face embeddings and then i will make an object of this embedding and save it in this variable i will call here hugging face embeddings here now i will create an object of this chroma db to save this embeddings i have imported wrong embedding here so i will just cancel it and import the correct one i will just do restart and clear output and then i will just remove it from here and then restart and run all And here I will import now from langchain underscore community dot embeddings import hugging face embedding and I will select the correct one so this one hugging face embeddings here and then I will create an object of this class let us execute our code 
and now it should not download anything because this time I have imported the correct one and after that we have to create this vector database so now we see that it has executed I will call here chrome or chroma and then from documents inside this our document is going to be nothing but splits that just we, we just created above and then embeddings is equal to the embedding that we have created here and then I can just vector DV I can print it let's write our question question is equal to what are the approaches to task decomposition and this question is we are asking from this document here and then I will create an retriever object so I will write here retriever underscore from underscore LLM then I will import this multi query retriever and from this I will call from LLM inside this I will pass retriever and retriever is nothing but this vector database that we have created I will pass it here and then I will call the function as retriever so we are using this database object as retriever and then our LLM model LLM is equal to LLM so this LLM that we created here and let us execute our code and if I print this so here you will see we got this um, or I will call this print statement here um, so we got this uh, retriever object here and then here is template you are in your task is and this 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 and then our question so to check the output we have to create a logging first so let me create that I will import logging because here in the output you are not seeing the question so let's import this logging and then I will write here from logging dot basic config and then logging dot get logger and inside this I will write langchain dot retriever dot multi query and then set level is going to be logging dot info so I got the error here not an integer or valid string I have to write this in capital letter and now you can see the error is gone and I'll make a new variable unique underscore docs and then I will call this retriever from LLM then from this I will call the method get underscore relevant documents and inside this our query is going to be our question that we are asking and let us execute our code so here you will see in the output here original question is what are the approaches to task decomposition and here our question was what are the approaches to the task decomposition so this is the original question and then these are the multi query retrievers option so we can ask these questions like what are the techniques for dividing a complex task into smaller parts how can large project projects be broken down into 
manageable subtask what are the strategies for segmentation in problem solving uh, so these are the questions suggested by this multi query retriever and this is what we wanted to see how many varieties of question we can get or what kind of questions we should ask to this prompt so that we get the correct output so it says that if we ask these questions then we will get the correct output from this document that we have loaded so this is the uh, this is the objective of this multi query retriever to get the relevant question for getting the correct output from the document i hope you enjoyed this video if you like my video you can subscribe to my channel thank you for watching